So back to 20, 19, back to, I was 27, I was living in a fucking, you know, it's a really stale place. Can't say where, can't say when, can't say who, you know that, that's how it goes. But, as the title goes, janky ass motel. Straight up. Now, I decided on New Year's not to pay till the first because they were pissing me off. So, they called the sheriff on the 31st like an asshole and told me I had to leave. Well, that was the fucking first step. That was the first week there. They didn't know fucking their ass and their elbows on why I was there. At all. I ended up staying at this place for like four more months. Watched so many different oxycotton fucking addicts go around playing fucking koozie. Uh, I'm, I'm watching people go into West Lane parking lot and drink at the fucking... That fucking, what, what was that? Moose and Goose or something? I don't know. Ch Chuck and Charlie's? I don't, I don't know. It was a shitty bar with too expensive beer. That's what it was. And I happen to know a fellow YouTuber. Now, what they said to me, stayed to me to resonate, to think of back to today. Last night, to be exact. You know what I mean? No, you don't. So let me hit the, hit the whiskey a bit, and I'll, I'll get this. I'll get kicking it, spitting the wicked shit. Scotch. You'll know why when you have kids. Anyway. There's this old guy at the end of the hallway. Well, there's no hallways. It's more of a laneway. And he is the dealer. And it, it burnt down, so I don't even have to worry about any of this. I won't use names, though. He was the dealer. And then there was some jamoke down beside him, who was the user, and it went like that. And then there was a guy beside him who was the village drunk, and then there was me. But between me and the village drunk, well, I don't know how we separated it. I guess I was the young village drunk. <laughs> so anyway, um, the village drunk Don Gun and fucking put a hex on me, and goes and tells me that my wife's gonna kill me one day. Guess what, guys? I have skin cancer. Fucking great, A. Eh? And I wouldn't have got it if I didn't have to go outside every day. I smoke. Go outside. Hey, doggy. Hey, puppy. Hey, Axe. <laughs> yeah, you're beautiful. I wouldn't have to have it if it wasn't for having kids. So, I don't blame my kid for it. Can't. My, my unborn child has nothing to do with it, but me going through radiation therapy for chemo really doesn't help the fucking mornings. So, spitting that, he brings this chick over, blah, 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 blah. And that's another story for another day that, for the purpose of betterment of everybody's health I'm just not gonna speak on that day on that period of time except for excluding her 
Okay. Uh, so back to the back to the motel. The guy burns almost burns down the place. Um, the village drunk ends up fucking being some weirdo that I get paid to beat up in front of the bar for, like, entertainment. And, uh, hey, my big card dog, wanna go in? Yeah, go. Yeah. She's only a year old. I can't wait to see her at two. <laughs> you want out, girl? What the hell's your problem? So anyway, life goes on. So, well, I meet I meet Haley. And Haley is somebody who got dropped off in my doorstep because of my roommate around Christmas time. And I I was in this I was in a down downward spiral at that point. And my girlfriend at the time, she didn't I didn't tell her anything about Haley. Nobody really understood. Well, my roommate, he had he had Haley tattooed on his neck, so she should have put one, two, and two together. So she was wearing my sweater, like a uh, overcoat, and I said it was okay. Why? Now here's the kicker. Haley, print. Well, I can't say. It was Buddy's daughter. <laughs> And she was tweaking out. And she broke up with me over that. Now, that was nice and all. But when she got into all of it, it was really to hide what what the things that she had done. So, when, it, when a black widow bites and a scorpion stings, what do you get? A fistful of steel, right? Right. So, we both went our own ways until, well, still go our own ways. But, the other day, after this surgery, Even, should I even say it? No, I should keep that that part close. We'll leave that as a mystery and a cliffhanger to the next beef. What do you think happened? Last week, the day I got my surgery done. No, I think about that shit hard now. Damn, that's a lot of shiny diamonds, eh? Rains diamonds nightly here. As where Shangri-La's lit brightly. And we all thought uh, you should see the necklace that came with it. <laughs> well, it didn't come with it, but I had to buy it because the logo it was the same. It was just a matching set. You know me. Harley gets the best. But the ring, the ring's mine. <laughs>